inner conflict comes to us every now and then, usually it's a temporary experience, knowing that something is not right for you, but having to face it by surrendering. Inner conflict can affect you in a job that you have to attend, this would be the push and being paid would be the pull, very much like an athlete, at some point they will hit the wall, they have come so far but the pain and exhaustion is intense, enough to make them second guess themselves, on the other side of the wall they come nearer to the finishing line, having to endure something for a short while, whilst surrendering any negative thoughts and emotions, is sometimes the only way forward in life. Making sure there will be no distractions and that you are perfectly comfortable, I would like you to close your eyes. Imagine a deep blue sky with puffy white clouds, inside the clouds will be numbers that slowly drift off and are replaced by the next ascending number, in your mind count upwards starting with the number one, very soon you will start to feel very relaxed, enough to gain the maximum benefit from this meditation. As each number slowly fades and drifts off, any tense feelings start to release and dissolve away. Your toes and feet feel light and free. your legs sink down, resting to a calmness that is only satisfied with each and every number that slowly drifts away. with each number that is replaced, sends you nearer to bliss and being very relaxed. Your thighs rest down deeper and deeper. your pelvis and lower back surrender to every passing number in those puffy white clouds. Seeing every number dissolving into the clouds only makes your eyelids want to close more and more, feeling heavier the more numbers that pass. Your abdomen relaxes and feels free. Your upper chest and shoulders sink deeper and deeper, more relaxed and more calm. Take notice of your eyelids for a moment, 
they are so heavy and relaxed that you are sure they can only remain closed. After all, the relaxation you feel right now is all your eyelids care about. The numbers are fading by one after the other and you are feeling more and more relaxed. Your neck relaxes into position, sending a wave of relief to your shoulders which only relaxes your whole body more and more. Your head feels clear and rests back into a comfortable position. Your arms, hands and fingers give way to the refreshing freedom of letting go. Try to lift your right arm. If you can, it will feel very heavy from being so relaxed. Take your attention back to the clouds and the numbers giving your mind time to settle down to appreciate this blissful feeling. You are in a boat, the sea is calm and of deep blue in colour. The sky is free of any clouds, only making the sea appear more blue. You can see a sandy beach from where you are, it is some distance away. Having used the boat's engine to propel you to where you are now, You've had a relaxing time enjoying the scenery. You can see dolphins passing by, fish swimming below, and listen to the gorgeous sound of the gentle waves lapping past. Your head feels clear, you are warm from the sun, and the sea breeze has loosened your breathing, making you feel very relaxed. You are mesmerised by the glistening waves that are reflecting the sun like a diamond that catches the light on each edge. The fish can be seen to swim, almost looking like they are dancing to a tune underneath the water. The sun's pleasant rays are of a warm positivity that is unparalleled.
Knowing you have to go back to the shore now, you can see on the gauge that there's not enough fuel. It would have been nice to feel a cool breeze at speed through the calm sea. Instead, you will have to row. You don't particularly want to row, and it's not something that you plan to do, but you will have to row to get back to the shore. Taking your seat, you start to row. From where you are, the shore looks quite a distance away, and a disheartened feeling is hard to shake. You row more and more in a rhythm that is comfortable for you. With each stroke and pull towards the shore, you feel stronger, knowing that you have completed part of the journey. This is much like the inner conflict that appears in life. Once you have started, then motivation kicks in. Motivation comes not from starting something, but will manifest during the experience of doing something. Your motivation and positivity strengthens with each pull towards the shore. You can see the sandy beach is now closer. During the start of getting back to the shore, your focus wasn't so positive and all you could see was obstacles. Now those obstacles are moving with each pull you make. You start to see the beautiful scenery around you again. The fish swimming below, the glistening sea the blue sky and the warm sun. You're nearly back on shore. Whilst you make those final strokes towards the beach, you take from this experience the positive aspects. When life becomes difficult, you remember to look around you. Only the obstacles in your mind can stop you doing something. Even whilst surrendering to the situation, you will remember this is temporary, and as long as you focus on the positive experiences during these times, you can have a much more positive flow of energy. Now back on the sandy shore, you climb out the boat and take a look around. Your feet instantly recognise the warm sand and quietness of this shore. You take a towel out of the boat and wander for a while, feeling the sand between your toes. feeling of accomplishment and the sound of the gentle lapping waves only calms you more.
you decide to rest down and place your towel on the sand in front of you. Laying on the soft beach towel, you relax as you listen to the sounds around you as you gently close your eyes. You may, if you wish to decide to, stay here for a while, or in your own time, awake when you are ready.